I already know it by all of the search results which are not related to what you are really looking for. Maybe you are just searching the wrong way. You can simply type the terms that you want to search for and see what results you get. But there are a variety of special things and Google search techniques which can help you find exactly what you are looking for. I want to start off with opening new private window, so the search results will not be influenced by the previous searches. And now we are ready to start. One of the things I like to use is minus to eliminate some results. For example, I will search for Macbook, but I don't want to buy it, I just want to read something about it. It means I don't want any shops to show up here. I can type minus buy and there are no more results for Apple, Amazon, iStyle and any other similar reselling websites. On the other hand, you can use plus to make sure something is included. So if you just wanted to see Macbook reviews, you can type plus instead of minus. And you can see all the results are going to include review, either in the title or the body text. After that, the next most common thing I use is to perform a site-specific search. You do this by using the word site followed by a colon with no space after it, and then immediately type the domain name of the website. Let me show you some examples. I want to buy a new MacBook, so I will search for a Mac and it will offer many options. To specify it, I will type Mac space site colon and put apple.com. No other websites will be appearing now. Or another example, I want to master shortcuts. That's a very general topic, so I can narrow it down by typing the Apple Online Academy site. And what I will get? Only the related tips and tutorials. Another thing you can use are quotes. Quotes will actually do two things. First, they will make sure that exact term is used in the search. Not a synonym for it, just exactly what you write. The other thing they will do is to combine words to make sure they are exactly in the order you type them. So if I type Mac widgets tips, the results will have exactly these words included. Not some other word for tips, like tutorials or something. Also, the words can't be separated or mixed. That is why it shows so little results, because it's a very specific search. Mostly the terms will be in the titles, but in some cases it can be used in the body text as well. But you can actually specify that too. If you use in title and then put the search term, you will get only results which have that search term in the actual title, not just the body of the text. In this case you have to write each word separately, which makes it a bit annoying. I have to type in title, colon symbol and word mac. Then do the same with widgets and so on. There is actually a companion one to this, which is in text. If you type in text instead of in title, it's looking in the body of the page. I will put in text tutorial. And now I will have a results here which has Mac widgets in the title and word tutorial in the body text. In URL is the next one. It's quite obvious what will this term do. If I type in URL colon Apple Online Academy, you might think it's the same like typing site specific search. But it's not true, because here you will not see only the official website, but also a Facebook page which includes Apple Online Academy in URL, and also the YouTube channel. Google is actually showing many different sites, but we can use some combinations of what we have already learned in this video. For example, you can use minus and site together to eliminate some websites. So if I search for shortcuts tutorial, you will most likely see at the first result a YouTube video. But if I am somewhere in public without the headphones, I can't watch a video. I am looking for a written tutorial. So I can type minus site YouTube. Well, it's actually not going to work, because it has to be specific websites. 
iForgot.com. But don't worry about it, you can actually replace this by an asterisk. It will not only remove .com, but any other version of that website, like .cz, .org and so on. Now my search results will include everything else, but not YouTube. Well, I don't encourage you to do that at all. Actually, the opposite, because YouTube is full of useful tutorials and more specifically, Apple Online Academy channel is full of videos helping you to master your Apple devices. So click on the subscribe button and hit the bell and you are two steps closer of doing just that. Now one really useful thing is the ability to search before a date or after a specific date. So let's say I want to search for Mac widgets, but I want to find recent ones, because Mac widgets for example has changed a lot recently. So it doesn't make sense to see tutorials from years back, which are not related to our new macOS anymore. And if you are specifically interested in this topic, you can watch one of my recent videos about it. But back to the search. I will type the search term and word after. Again the colon symbol and the date. But the date has to be in the special format. It's basically year and dash, then a month, dash, a day. You can put zeros in front of these numbers, but it's not necessary. Now I will only get results that are from February this year. You can do the same thing with the word before. So if you want to find some really old news, you can type before and choose a date. And you could also use both before and after in the same search result, so you will find something in the very specific range. Now let's use operators OR as well as AND. But remember, you have to use these in capital letters, otherwise Google will think they are just the regular words you are looking for. Let me show you an example. There are two big Apple resellers in Czech, plus many other small ones. But I want to search only between these two big ones, which is iStyle and iWant. I will search for the word iPhone. Then cite iStyle.cz or with big letters. And another site iWantCZ. And then press enter. Now all of my results will either be iStyle or iWant. As a last tip, I want to show you advanced Google search page, which can kind of replace all what we just talked about in this video. The page you are looking for is google.com slash advanced search. Easy way how to get to this page is to just type on Google advanced search and the first link will lead you there. This page allows you to do a lot of the things I just showed you, but without having to remember what to type. So you can fill in all the stuff here and do a very specific search. You can further filter the results by region or the language. You can even search by file type. All sorts of things. So advanced search is really the place to go if you want to dig down for a very specific information. There are a lot more other tips and commands for Google searches. If you have a different search technique I didn't mention here, write me in the comments below. I like to learn new things as much as you do, and maybe you'll surprise me with something I didn't even know. But anyway, I hope you found at least something useful in this video, and I will bring you some more tips in the next one. So see you there.